Okay, and welcome back. What I'm doing here today is I'm trying to make a Fresnel lens. A Fresnel lens. I saw this on YouTube. There's a channel called King of Random that made one, and another one that called Green Power Science that actually went to the extreme of polishing it to the point of getting the temperatures up higher. And what it is, it's kind of like a giant magnifying glass. Um, this is the front of a rear projection TV, and uh, I believe they all have them. I don't know. But if you look at it from this angle, you can start to see why this works. It's kind of got that that look to it, kind of uh, giant magnifying glass. Uh, but anyway, it's really, really flimsy and flops around all over the place. It sort of works just kind of holding it up there but uh, it's really big and flops around a lot and it's really hard to get the focus point so you gotta build a frame and uh, you know they had better stuff than I have so uh, like King of Random had um, cut a groove in a piece of wood for it to fit into but I don't have that particular type of saw so I'm just gonna use two of these strips and kinda sandwich it in between there and see how well that works um, should it should hold it but uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna do next scene should be that all done okay so this is what I got it's pretty basic I learned that I'm not really that great of a carpenter it did work it's holding it in there really good and I put these um, little braces on the ends there and um, that is doing the trick of holding the whole thing rigid so that you can, you know, when you pick it up from the side, it all stays straight. So, it is somewhat ready. I had a little bit of an oil drip on it there. That's coming from a, a chainsaw I got hanging above it. So that's unfortunate. I don't know exactly how to get that off or whether that's good or bad, but it is there now. Also got a scratch or two on it. Um, I already want another one so that I can do this again and be more careful But it is suspended in there. It's all up off the ground, which means it's going to stay in the right position and Do its trick unfortunately While I was doing this the clouds rolled in and I can't test it So we'll just kind of wait for another day to do that but I got it built. Okay, so here's a look at it. We've got a, well, we've got a nice sunny day today. And so this would be, well, we've got one cloud. We'll wait for it to move. But this will be a good day to test this out and see what it does. Now there's quite a bit more that I need to do with it. Of course, there's no frame. I mean, it's a frame, but there's no uh, stand. So I've got to actually hold this thing but at least I can hold it nice and level now. And we can give this a test run. Um, there's things you can do uh, to improve it quite a bit. Like, for example, I didn't even dust it off. It's still got some dust on it. But there is a polishing technique that you can do that I saw over at uh, Green Power Science. And I'll put the links to all those things in the description. But the non-Fresnel side, the opposite side of, I think, this side, you're supposed to polish that and then you can really see through it quite well and it really improves the optics and that's how you get the crazy temperatures but it should melt most plastics pretty seriously here today so I'm gonna give it a try okay I'm gonna start out with this one this of course if any of you all remember this is a desk lamp magnifier that I put on a stick and it is about five inches across and it does a pretty damaging job, so I'm going to start by showing what this will do and then compare it to what the uh, big Fresno lens does. So let's zoom in on that. I was already burning some holes there. We'll zoom in and see what we can do. Naturally, the sun just went behind a cloud. We'll wait.
So yeah, you can see it burns right through. This is a strong magnifier, but it's really nothing compared to the Fresnel lens. Let me go get that and show you. Anyway, you get the idea. It's quite a bit broader. Now the thing is very dirty, so it's not getting a lot of sun. What I'm going to try to do now, I'm going to set something up on a brick to see if that's going to work any better. Okay, so what that is is a uh, spray paint cap. Um, I guess about two and a half inches across and about two and a half inches high. So let's see what it does to that. Okay, so there's a look at it. 
Um, yeah, quite a bit more powerful than the handheld magnifier. And of course this is in a very, very rough state right now. Anybody that's got experience with Fresnel lenses is probably quite frustrated with me right now. But it is a work in progress. Um, first thing I need to do, of course, is clean off all the dust on it. And then I will do the polishing thing. And after all that is done, it's supposed to be able to melt metal. So that should be pretty exciting. But for right now, it's uh, just going to be fun for paint. Boy, that's still oozy. <laughs> that's still molten. Wow. Okay, so uh, all kinds of fun coming up with this thing. Uh, episode 2 will probably be showing some of the polishing and hopefully metal, uh, melting the first metal object. Oh, and mounting it in a frame because you know what guys, this is really really hard to hold. Um, I, I, honestly, I couldn't see what I was doing. So uh, as for getting the focal point exactly on the object, I'm sure I was missing it, but I couldn't even really see. Uh, and that's all part of the process. Um, I will get the frame made, the uh, the stand made, and then uh, we'll have some real fun. But that has been this episode. Stay tuned for part two, and thanks for watching.